Am I afraid of dying? No, not really. I know it's coming, it's just strange to have death lurking around the corner like my creepy stalker I had in Japan. As you say, you're not afraid of death right now. How much do you think about it? I don't know really. It's just there all the time, and I probably think about more than I realize. Do you still experience joy in your daily life? Yeah, I love being with friends and hanging out with my family. I try to just go with the frustrations and look forward to events with friends and when strangers come to interview me. <laughs> What's it like for you when friends come and tell you about all the things that they're doing in their lives that you know you can't do anymore? I'm happy for them. My good friend Chelsea just recently got engaged, and I am genuinely happy for her. But when I'm alone at the end of the day, I do think about the milestones I'll miss out on. I have decided to use death with dignity. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to rely on tubes or machines to keep me alive. My breathing is getting worse, but I feel good. When it gets to the point when life becomes unbearable, I will take advantage of the law. It's difficult to say, this is the date I want to die, but I am confident that I'll know when it's my time to go. What do you most want people to know about you? I want people to know that I am a storyteller who happens to have ALS. <laughs> <laughs>